<clears throat> Welcome back to low resolution. We're going to left, continuing where we left off in a very complicated game featuring, uh, what should I say? Like, basically controversial questions, like the one, okay, never mind. Okay. We're going to be dealing with a new one, uh, probably two of them in each episode, depending on how many there are. And they're basically controversial questions where I will rant and basically theorize and brainstorm with you guys on how I think and why I answer the way I do and hopefully you will enjoy seeing the way I think and how I brainstorm shit like this. If not, I mean, the, the whole point is you contributing also in the comments below, but let's see what this is about. Perform experiments and quarantine town. Was it Resident Evil style? You better not talk to the fucking intercom again, you fucking moron. He is. Fucking serious. Please, please stop this. This is wrong. Just let us go, please. It's a speaker. It's an audio output, like... The entire population of a small town have become infected with an unknown disease. If the disease is not contained or cured, the world as a whole is risk. The only route is to develop a cure. I don't think kind of nice, but alternate option is to quarantine that town. Oh. I mean, so can we make a cure? God, and it's going to be one of those things where I want to relook at the fucking video footage to read and like read fully the story. No one should have to make these choices. Shut the. Someone has to make the choice. You can't say no one. Someone has to make the choice. Whether it be a president, whether it be a lot of politicians or a democratic committee, someone's going to be. What's wrong with you? Shut the. F I hate Alex. I hate him. I wish there was an option to kill him. I, I would. I would genuinely do it. Anyways, wait me one second. Alright, so the most important thing that it said is the only route to developing a cure will require inva invasive experimentation on the already infected. The alternative option is to quarantine the town and let disease burn out. The choice must be made. So I don't think we should make it a comparison like Resident Evil style where we think infected, we think, you know, that's, uh, wait there we go. Uh, hopefully I don't have problems with editing that, but... We don't think of them as virus, uh, say as a zombie virus. Let's think of it as, um, Ebola instead. Ebola would probably be a better example of what this question is meant to reference, because a lot of people, like Bill Gates and everyone else, are fearful of the time of a return of very powerful plagues and, and things that just simply have evolved and will kill millions of humans, which many will expect will happen within the next 20 years, if anything. So, it says we can experiment on the already infected. This is then going to be probably a living people who feel pain and everything. They will be alive and we will be experimenting on them like rats. Um, and the other would be just completely quarantine um, and let them die off and make it so they don't spread. So this would be sacrificing Let's think Resident Evil style, Resident Evil 3, where they just fucking nuked, uh, what's the town called? Raccoon City. They just fucking nuked the place to quarantine it. That, that's the lengths they went to quarantine. They nuked the place. Um, I want to see what kind of experimentation, how. The experimentation will be invasive. Some will die. The remainder will experience long-term side effects. That doesn't sound too bad, to be honest. And having a cure means it's a temporary cure. If you have it die off... I mean, quarantine would mean it is gone forever, unless there's a slip-up of some sort, so let's see. The quarantine can contain the disease, the majority of the town will die from the disease. Both of them sound okay to me. The cure means some will suffer. He won't re-explain it. Some will suffer. It's invasive, so it'll be painful maneuvers, experimentations. Alex, you need to shut the fuck up. Quarantine? It depends. How many are being quarantined? If they have to die... The people who are already infected, it is unfortunate, but they are infected. Like the Black Plague, I mean, it's just, it's just it was bad. Cure, it depends if, like, you could do both, quarantine and cure. Well, those that are quarantined, you bring some out, you test on them, and you try to make a cure for the rest of them. Whether they have side effects or not, they probably will be happy they, that they survived rather than died a painful death. So a cure, for the name of science, would be the best thing. But it just, as long as performing the experiments means it's not going to spread. Because both are basically good options. Cure it and quarantine. 
if we're going to think logically, a government or a like UN or whatever, they're going to they're, they're going to do both. You can't say they're going to do one and not the fucking other. That'd be stupid. So I'd go with Cure. Decision made. Your choice has tra been transmitted. Uh huh. The cure was developed. And most of the test subjects lived, but the experiments caused significant brain damage. They will need to be looked after the rest of their lives. What are they going to ask for us next? Haven't we been through enough? What do they hope by game life and this cruelty? Oh yeah. The people hurt won't have died in vain. They'll have helped save their friends and family. I hate people that think like him. I really do. They, mind, well, they moan and whine, but I mean, like, you don't have the balls to pick an answer. You'd probably be the type that's like, you know, the... Oh, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a centrist. I, I, I view both things, but I'm not going to be willing to, you know, make an answer because eh, I'm, I'm so superior. I'm a centrist. I, I, I see both and haha, -ha, I'm not going to make a choice because ha 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 ha. It's like, no. You make a choice and you hope for the best. You can regret it if it's wrong, but you have to make a fucking choice. That's, that's progression. Okay. I wonder if this will reflect the first question of me picking the right orb. I'm gonna follow the right because I'm a consistent person. You go in the other fucking room. Go on on the left one, that would lack consistency. Why have the doors locked? Why did you go the other way? Because I trust this one. We did his open, and mine didn't. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Alex. Alex. Oh, Alex is still good. Your friend cannot hear us. You do not remember, but not long so long ago. They were in your shoes. They chose to remain. What will you choose? One must leave, and one must stay. The choice is yours. So saying he can't remember, but he chose to stay? Like, he, you can have a choice of staying or going. Or I can for make him leave. So I have the choice not of staying or leaving. Actually, I do. You must choose. Why would I want him to be free? What the fuck has he done? I did my service. So, I mean, why would I not want to leave? That's stupid. That's really stupid. Oh, I yeah, I'm, I'm gonna leave. You made your choice, and apparently... That would mean it's not that he was stupid. He let the other person go and sacrificed himself. Good. Goodbye. Good. Goodbye. I don't think he's saying good, but he's saying good, stutter, goodbye. Yeah, so, see, so yeah, Alex, I mean, hopefully you... You know, just, yeah. I mean, he's been there for three days. He's not been there for long. Bye. Please wait while well, I guess the statistics. See how many people agreed with me, or if I was the, the voice of the minority. Uh, seven percent of people chose to invert the y-axis, so they did that on purpose. They on part one, I complained because the mouse cursor actually swapped the y-axis. I was like, no. <laughs> seven people chose to invert, so seven people actually, you know, went to the options and changed it. So I'm part of the minority apparently there. 46% chose the left-hand sphere in the training room, so majority picked the right with me. 91% of people chose to save the baby. Really? Really? 91! It depends on how many people played this game. It could be skewered by, like, say, if 10 people played it, and let's say... 10 people played it, one person, me, said save the mother, and the other nine said save the baby. Or maybe, let's say, it's even with six. I don't think it would work with six. Ten, making it a, a, a subject of ten people minimum, I think makes the most sense. It's probably more than ten at this rate with those kind of numbers, though. Well, it also be, you know, like 33, 44, 55, 66 sort of percentages, or no, like 10, 9, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, but 91 said chose, chose the baby. You don't care that the fucking adult mother died. And that means the baby will be born, and the dad will be left alone with the baby to take care of it. So, then you have to think of the scenario. The, the people that chose 91% baby, you're saying that it's okay for the dad. The dad, you know, the, the wife's gonna die. The dad has to raise the son alone. And they don't give a fuck about the dad thinking, Oh, hey, here's my son, the one that killed my wife. And every time the guy, the husband, looks at the son, he's probably gonna be reminded of the fact 
that his son or daughter, the baby born, are the ones that killed their wife. That is a trope amongst TV shows and books and novels, but is a real world issue. So 91% of people, I completely disagree with this difference. 91% say they saved the baby. You can make more fucking babies. You can make more. This, in this situation, it's either the mother, the woman's body is either too tiny and can't birth a baby without killing herself or other miscarriage problems that would kill her. You can make more babies that will not endanger the woman's life or get a C-section. They're saying they'd rather kill an adult woman and leave a man with a baby who killed the guy's wife. That's going to have a fucked up future for both the baby and the dad who has to raise the son or daughter on their own. That's fucking stupid. 91% are fucking stupid, in my opinion. Everything else, let's see. 92% chose to reveal the truth to the friend. As pe people being mostly emotional, then. But, I mean, I picked the way... What was it? I picked the doctor, too? That was because I, I... My assessment of the doctor would be... Reveal... The doctor would not get in trouble for revealing because... It's the doctor's duty to report to the police if a patient or client is threatening to kill someone or is threatening any form of bodily harm to someone else. And that you could probably argue in a legal stance if you were in court, let's say. And the doctor said, well, he had, like, a terminal illness that would kill and could possibly give it to his partner, and they weren't going to tell their partner. So I was like, yeah, the doctor is probably not in any wrong. So 92% then are in agreement with me, but probably didn't go in as much depth as I did with that, because I spent, like, 10 minutes going blah, 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 word vomit. 64% chose to out the politician's child. The problem with this one is, I can understand why no one would want the legislation to pass. It's a big, it's a big, uh, if you're around during like the 80s, 70s, and 90s, there's always the government pushed uh, scare tactics of say, oh, if you listen to metal music, you are a Satan worshiper. We went through that phase of drugs destroys your brain. You know, fear-mongering by the FBI, by the American fucking government shit, where they they would scaremonger you. They would f make you afraid of weed. They're doing it all the fucking time. They made you afraid of weed, that weed would destroy your brain. Uh, they did it on purpose to scare you, just to affect you and control you. Um, so when you get from the option of saying, oh, this legislation will completely abuse and fuck over the gay community, it's a big, it's meant to scare you, because logically speaking, it would never pass. It would just never pass, unless it was already, again, in a, a dystopian future where most people in power are bigoted anyways. So if you're already living in a shit country that would allow a legislation to pass to harm uh, LGBTQ communities, and it's a shit country and you need to get the fuck out of there. Why are you still in a country where they can pass a bill or legislature that can abuse people that are homosexual? If there's a country, you're in a country that is against gays, you move the fuck out of there. If you don't, you're a fucking moron. That's basically it. But 64% chose to uh, sacrifice the child. The child insinuated would kill themselves after because you reported that their the politician's guy, uh, son was gay thus the son would either kill himself and or be disowned and then kill himself 64 percent of people i think maybe didn't think it with such lengths but it depends on what the truth is or what actually happened which we're not informed of it's a what if scenario that we don't get the full results of of did it really pass what what world are they living in what country are they in we're presuming by nature that it's a, let's say it's like america it's where we live where you live as the player i thought of it in a dystopian future or dystopian parallel universe that is not as fair or not the same as our own and went with that 37 percent of people chose to euthanize the elderly so that means 63 percent chose to um <laughs> to fuck over and uh um sterilize low IQ people. So, people agreed with me on that. I don't need to debate that. 37% of people chose to quarantine the village. Most people then chose to cure people. If you're given the option of curing or quarantining, quarantining is a preventative measure. Curing is a solution to the problem. So one is a preventative, but doesn't fix a future outcome or future problem of a similar nature. So curing 
means you would have the technology, the science, the knowledge of that disease to potentially help with other ones. So if a future event happens, you have the technology or you have the experience, you have the whatever, blah, 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 blah. So that's fine. 49% chose people to set Alex free. What? So it's 50-50 between letting him go and you staying. I mean... That's fine enough in itself, I mean, if you are okay with giving these questions repeatedly, but their mind is refreshed, like Men in Black style memory wiped, that they don't remember anything, which would really much suck. I don't want to stay in this institution if the threat of it is, uh, as the speaker person said, if you stay, Alex had done the questions before, but he cannot remember. That means he let the other person go, stayed, and had his memory wiped. Sorry, but... I don't want to have my memory wiped, thank you very much. Uh, it's bad for Alex, but I'm sure there will be a more person who is more morally conscious of being selfless who will eventually let him go. He's not going to die there, likely. Depends on how many people pass and, you know, go by in these uh, experiments. If a lot of people come, like, every three days, say, there's another choice, another client comes in, eventually he's going to be let go and have his turn to leave. I just chose to leave myself without a memory wipe first. So that was it. That, 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 that's the interesting statistics. So I completely so fucking disagree with the whole 91% chose to save the baby. I think they're all stupid. Sacrificing a full adult woman that could have another baby. And you're saying you'd prefer the baby. I think that makes it... The whole issue with that is people are so sentimental, overly sentimental about the life of a baby because they perceive baby as innocent thus baby has higher priority that's fucking stupid it's a baby babies die and live a lot it's just a lot i mean it's not to say that the baby doesn't feel that the baby isn't alive that the baby's brain isn't active i know that but the adult woman has more potential of benefiting society than a baby that isn't even fully born, who will then kill the mother and cause future family troubles socially and mentally and emotionally with both the child and the dad, I don't think those people are putting that into consideration, or else they'd probably change their mind. With that said and done, again, tell me what you think, if you agree, if you disagree, leave in the comments below, keep it fucking civil, mind you. I believe most of you people who are subscribers will be civil and mature, because I, I trust you guys. But, nonetheless, I still want to make it clear for non-subscribers or those that really get emotional about controversial subjects, unlike me. Where I just simply, I make a choice, I state my reasons, and I move on. I'm fine with it. Um, if this was in real life, I would not have problems with the outcomes. I would rationalize them all and cold and calculatively explain it why, and blah 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 blah. But outside of that, I hope you enjoyed this uh, different take of a video on my channel, and hope you enjoyed my brainstorming and everything else. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, make me a subscriber, hit that bell notification down below for updates on my channel, or for updates you know, on my videos on my channel. Outside of that, hope you enjoyed it, dude. Wait, I already said that. Fuck me. I'm fucking tired. Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, hit the bell notification down below, and just until the next time. <laughs> Alright, story. And thank you for watching, and until the next time, fuck me. <sighs> Uh, I would do whatever I can to get the fucking job. I mean, the guy's car's broken down. A lot of people are going to help him. You see a lady. Well, this escalated quickly. I mean, you see a lady. Kill her! Or... Leave her. Women aren't it. 